Well, after, yeah, I don't know how long I spent on this, but uh, yeah, uh, blades look really good. I did notice at some point in time, it looks like these are different rivets here. So this has been probably replaced. And this one here, and the one on the end, the two on the end. So yeah, them are different from all these other ones. But uh, yeah, I got this one pretty much ready to be wiped down and painted. And then like I said, it's going to be black, but then I'll come back in with this uh, nylon wheel, which seemed to do really good on shining these edges up. So I'm going to flip it over and double check the other side real quick and call this piece done. Well, I got to say, this was a challenge to get all that green paint off of it. So it's ready for a bath, a wipe down, and a repaint. So, all right, guys, I'm on the fence. I think I got one more thing I want to work on for today. All right, we're going to barbecue this bearing. It's indirect. I don't have the center burner on. I just got the two outsides. Well, we've been at 400 for about 15 minutes, so I think I'm going to get the other part and We'll see if this thing goes together. Boy, I sure hope so. All right, this has been a freezer about three days. Uh, let me wipe that off the shaft if it'll come off. All right, I'm gonna go grab the bearing. Yes, she is hot. You know what? As soon as it touched it, it locked up. I'm going to stop right there. All right, well, I'm just going to let all this thaw and cool down. And I'm going to see if I can just, because it's just like right on the edge. I think it was going on crooked, but it just stopped. So, yeah. <sighs> I guess my next step is to let this go to room or outdoor temperature and then heat that back up again and see if I can get it on the shaft because yeah as soon as that bearing touched that cold shaft I think it went all right well I really thought that would work uh, basically I just used a little drift and took one tap and it came off so we're going to let this stuff come all the way out to outdoor temperature, which is currently 106 out here. I think that's 42 Celsius. Um, but yeah, we're just going to let this stuff sit here, and then I may see what I can do in the press. But to do that, I'm going to have to... Uh, it goes the other way, but it's hot. Yeah, I'll have to clean up my mess on the bench and make room for the press. See if we can press it on there. Well, maybe if I get some shade out here, I got two parts left to get the paint off of, and then we can start the rebuilding process. So instead of cleaning this mess off here, and I have no place to put it, I think what I'm gonna do is use the little lift table, put the, uh, press on it and use it there so uh yeah let me go put some stuff away out there because it looks like we might get a storm so we got thunder over there we got thunder back here i wonder if any of it's going to come right here good rain coming down over there wow I'll let you know if we get any. Yeah, I'm going to be chasing stuff down, it looks like. Yeah, I'm going to ask if we don't get rain. It's just kicking up.
building up all kinds of dust. Well, I'm not sure if that's even going to be enough to knock the dust down. But it's moisture. Yeah, I'm sitting out here in my chair. All right. I guess I'm going in. I'm going to finish this video now. Now that we got some moisture and it cooled down. So, all right, guys. Thanks for watching.